Good morning, guys. It is a nice morning to make bagels. Um, and the funny thing is, it's because I have some coursework to do. And whenever I have a day where I should be doing some some work, I'm like, let's see, what can we do first? And then do some work in between. So I thought, I'm going to get make some bagels and keep some in the freezer. So I've got a recipe from my King Arthur flower book. I've got my mixer set up. I'm going to go ahead and put the dough hook in here. And I've got my ingredients kind of set out. So it calls for a half, uh, one and a half cups of lukewarm water, which I have here. And I like to just double check the temperature with my thermometer because I don't want my yeast to um, to die. So this is good. It's not above 110. So I'm going to put that in my bowl. And for these bagels, it calls for one tablespoon of yeast. A tablespoon of yeast. Two teaspoons of salt. One. Two. One tablespoon brown sugar. I usually have my sugar in a bag, but I mean in a jar. But I have my bag here. And it calls for four cups of bread flour. Now, I don't believe I have enough bread flour. Um, I have it. In there we go. And there is four cups of bread flour. And I'm kind of making a mess here. And I am going to turn this on. And let's give this a minute before this combines. And I'll start timing when this mixture comes uh, kind of clean right off the edges of the bowl and off the bottom. And then I will begin timing it for five to six minutes. Okay, see how this is cleaning the side of the bowl? So this dough is ready to be timed. And I did check the recipe. Since bagels are a little bit thicker of a dough, I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. a little bit to the side but that's okay It'll grease my hands a little bit I'm gonna take the bowl off of the stand and I'm gonna take you over a little bit I'm gonna put some just a little bit of grease on my hand olive oil and look at that dough that is going to make some beautiful bagels. So I'm going to just pinch that back, put a little bit of olive oil in my pan, and this I'm going to cover and let rise for an hour to an hour and a half. Um, let me see if that's going to double. Sometimes they won't double. Um, yep, yeah, until Noticeably puffy, though not necessarily double in bulk. I'm going to get a cloth to put over that. And while that is rising, I'm going to have my oatmeal for breakfast and start to get to work. Okay, guys, my timer has gone off. I let it, the dough sit for an hour and a half. It's Boy, it's doubled in bulk. Um, I'm going to move over here and punch this dough down. <clears throat> I'm 
And I'm going to put you back on the tripod so we can see what's going on. So hopefully this is a good angle. Um, I'm just put a little flower on my board. Get my dough out. And this dough is um, going to make eight bagels. They're pretty big size. I've made bagels um, twice before. So I was thinking about making them smaller into ten, but I think eight bagels fits nicely on my cookie sheet. Um, so let me get my cutter. Getting out some air bubbles. They're never perfect. I may need just a little bit more flour. So I'm going to continue with these eight, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to cover these with plastic wrap for 30 minutes, and then we'll show you the next step. It's getting to the fun part. And this is going to be a water bath, which actually... Um, you cook the bagels in before you bake them. So I'm going to take you down. Now to this pan of water, I'm going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of granulated sugar. And then I'm just going to get the spoon, spatula, And I'm just going to heat this up slowly, and I'll be back uh, when the bagels are ready for the next step. Okay, I have my um, pan ready to go. It's covered with parchment paper. My balls of dough are risen a little bit. This is the half an hour is up. I'm just going to poke a hole through the center with my finger, and then gently twirl around. My finger is a little bit, it's sticking a little bit, so. And by all means, my bagels are not perfect. And I'm going to place them right on the cookie sheet. There's one. They say to twirl them like this. Two. is simmering and very gently I'm going to place these in to the water bath. Let me turn that up a little bit. Excuse me. And I'm going to take you over. Hopefully it won't get too fogged up. Place one. Two, three. Now they're not going to be perfectly round like Dunkin' Donuts bagels, but I kind of like them when they're not, so they look more homemade that way. Um, I think there's enough room for, no, I think I'll wait because that'll cool down the water too much. So I'm going to turn this up to high 
and cook this about simmer these about two minutes and then when two minutes is up I will flip them and cook them uh, simmer them for one more minute and then I'll do the next with the other four okay these are almost ready to flip I'm gonna get two spatulas so I won't splash um, I'll start with a little one here and there's one two three and four they've gotten quite bigger so I'm glad I didn't add that that next bagel to this water bath so give this a minute and I'm going to put them right on this cookie sheet and do the next four. My oven is preheated to 425 so we're all set to go. Okay guys, they definitely wouldn't fit on one tray so here's five and here's another three and they are big so I think next time I will make them into instead of eight bagels I'll make them into 10 or 12 so I'm gonna pop these in the oven they cook for um, I believe it's 35 minutes but I turn them after no 45 minutes I turn them after 15 so I'll show you when I turn them over So I'm going to try this small one and I'm going to just break that open for you. It's so chewy and it's crunchy on the outside. You can almost hear it. And it is so good. They're great toasted. And one of the best bagels I've ever had. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.